Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of the Vigilant Voices podcast. I am the Afro Vigilante, and I still don't have an intro. That's tough. Um, first episode did pretty good. It could have did better, but you know, a thousand listeners isn't bad. But only way we can go from here is up. You feel me? So. Bro, who the fuck is this nigga? I'm at work, y'all. Hold on. This sports car ass female. I mean, she kind of bad, but like, excuse me, I got an intro to do. Uh, thank you for all the listeners on you know SoundCloud, Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. You know. Um, I'm also on Anchor, just type in Vigilant Voices on Anchor, and that's literally the only one because, you know, creativity goes, like, the longest way in this game and shit, so, yeah. Um, we got a lot to talk about today, some, some bullshit, some good shit, some what the fuck is wrong with you guys shit, uh... I think we're gonna start with the big one, just to get it out of the way... FaZe Clan is fucking these kids over from for cash. Now, this whole thing is crazy. So, about a couple of weeks ago, um, FaZe, not FaZe Clan, the actual group with some of their members. I know Jarvis is one of them. K, Tigo, or TQ and somebody else and there was Rice Gum and some Ray they all did this campaign called Save the Kids and were like oh we need to help feed the kids in other areas I'm like we can't even feed the kids here and you worried about other people and stuff so when I was looking at the lineup for this campaign I was like Jarvis is the same nigga who got banned from Fortnite for cheating and then cried about it and stuff. He's also the nigga that not only had a knockout at the uh, that stupid little boxing event with all those white people. Shout out to DGG. Uh, Rice Gum was there. Rice Gum is just old as hell. I didn't even know he was still making content. Um, I used to. I used to really like his, like, diss tracks and stuff. Like, they were pretty lit. Like, especially, like, because he would just do a diss track for a 13-year-old kid. Like, that shit was popping. But, you know, if he did it now, that's considered harassment, I guess. And then, like, dude was just on Wild and Out, like, a year ago. Only thing about his Wild and Out shit, bro did not say no jokes, bro. Sorry, bro. And then when he did say a joke, they would just come back and be like, yo, you're Asian, shut up. I'm like, wow, that's that's racist. And then Summer Rae, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought she was an IG model. I didn't know she was, you know, doing charity work now. But I do know I'm going I'm to donate to a charity to make sure that ass is still fine. Because word on the street is Summer Rae don't got a weight preference. And I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. Yeah. Now, if you didn't see the commercial, I'm I'm not going to post it here, but it was, I don't even know. <laughs> it was basically like a, like, um, you know how they all say like the same thing and they have it like at different points. It was like, I, I, I. Am helping to save save the kids. Like, bro, that bro, come on, you could give me twenty bucks and stuff. So the way everyone knew this was a scam is when they first. Um, I don't know what the correct term is, but when the when the when save the save the coins when the save the kids crypto thing. First came out, they automatically knew it was an altcoin, which is like highly illegal. I know that's it's considered a fraud, but I don't know how many years you get. I want to say it's 
three to seven years, depending on how like like how much money you made from it. And they they made I'm not gonna say it was a lot, but it was a decent amount for them to get like at least three and a half to four years. Um so this guy named Coffeezilla on YouTube, uh Shameless Pub, go watch him. He made this he made a few videos that was that was exposing like the whole Save the Kids, um their whole master plan. So he went in depth and said like Oh, this, these are the codes that they used, and you can see as soon as they open, like, they were changing codes from, like, you can only sell from 24 hours to you can only sell every 24 seconds. So, if you change that and then you let people know that's highly illegal, that's, like, another five years on your sentence. And he was actually talking to, like, actual people that were a part of this whole thing. And, like, he was letting them know, like, yeah, this is fraud. You do know that, right? And then they were like, uh, it's not fraud. I wasn't a part of it. And it kept going to, like, this dude named, like, Manny and stuff. And it was... What I don't understand is, like, why do y'all trust people with virtual money if y'all won't trust them with, like, paper money? You won't give a nigga a thousand dollars... And tell them to hold it until tomorrow. But you'll give a person virtually a thousand dollars. And like. Just put a whole bunch of trust in them. Like bro that's not how it works. So. After all this. They also found out that. This phase K. Little shit. This isn't his first time like doing this. He's been in like. He's been doing, like, giveaways and stuff. And I've noticed it, but I've never, like, really paid attention to it. So, he's been doing, like, it'll say, like, oh, um, invest into this crypto. Uh, this is 100% secured. Uh, just like and retweet this post for, for a chance to win. And, like, to normal people, you'd be like, or no, I wouldn't say to normal people. To people who are educated they were like, yeah, this is this is fake, uh, fake as hell. I'm not gonna do it. But the people that are like poor and try to just make like a quick dollar, then they're like, yeah, I can, I can make money from this on top. Um, so Phase Clan actually kicked K out of the entire group. So if you go to like Phase Clan's website, um. Phase K isn't even there, and then they banned Jarvis, Nikan, and uh, what's his name, Tico. So I don't know how long their suspension is. It's probably gonna be like, I don't know, four months. If I can, at least, hopefully, it's four months. Maybe it might, it might be less. But I was looking through their website, and I was like. There's not a lot of people of color and stuff. And that's that's the thing about Face Clan. It's a whole bunch of like snobby rich rich nose white kids and stuff. I'm just like if you had more people of color from like poverty, these people would have let you know like, yeah, this is a bad idea. You shouldn't probably um invest in this or like go forth because now it makes it not not only it makes Phase Clan looks bad, but it looks like it makes like the individual people look like assholes, and like now like these companies and stuff aren't gonna probably work with these people that got suspended, especially like Phase K, yeah. So that just jeopardize that just jeopardized his character like to the fucking max, but like. As I was saying with, like, people of color, there's only, like, I want to say eight. One, two. Yeah, there's only, like, eight people in Face Clan that are black. And four of them are celebrities. So, there's, I'm trying to think. Jay Smooth, Little Yachty, Offset, Kai... Swag, 
Bronny, and Ben Simmons. Yachty Offset, Bronny, and Ben Simmons are like, just like, they don't even like really, they don't, I don't want to say they don't play video games, but they're not on the level that face kind of is. They just did it for like, for like a publicity. Bro, who the fuck is this? Security. Okay, this is this is D the nighttime shift. How can I help you? Yeah. Uh, no, that would be Abraham. Okay. All right, I will. All right. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Loser ass liquor. I don't give a fuck about your plumbing tomorrow. You need to monitor your own shits, bitch. That's that's fucked up. Cause I'm gonna need a plumber. And then they gonna be like, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. But, yeah. What were like? Oh, yeah. Yachty, Offset, Bronny, and Simmons. Two of them are athletes. Two of them are rappers. It's a big-ass publicity stunt. But it's, like, the only, like... If you can... Anybody that can name, like, the... Like, out of all time, the top five clans... Ace Clan's got to be, like, number, like, top three. You know, you got some new people, like, RDC, AMP. Shout out to AMP for hitting the mill today. That was crazy. Um, but, yeah. They, I mean, they do need a lot of people. They need more, they need black women, Bro, the day they hire a black woman on Face Clan, it's gonna be good and bad. Cause you know, a whole bunch of white kids, they don't, they don't have any self control. They gonna be DMing her, sending her dick pics, calling her the N word, all this bullshit. Um, what the fuck? Oh, I thought was, there's a fucking raccoon on the cameras, y'all. That no, I'm not doing. But hey, face cut. If you want to hire me, hey, I can play some video games. There's two things I know how to do: hurt people and play video games. And you know that's what I just love to do. So yeah, that's all I had on the on this face club bullshit. But yeah, um, next up on the list. Um, so we've been having the, uh, the XXL freshmen doing their individual freestyles, bro, when I tell you every single person that performed was ass so far, I don't think they went through everyone, but it's just like, they're all saying the same thing, like, say something else. Look at my wrist. Look at my wrist. I'm gonna go fuck on your bitch. Like, bro, come on, bro. All y'all niggas sound the same. The I would have to say, like, the bottom. If I can put, like, a list. DDG's probably at the top. And for me, Pooh Shicey's at the bottom. Just because you got addicted to life. And then as soon as you went in jail, you said... I'm suicidal. Like, bro, no. You got you got scared of them actual gangbangers. Like, come on, bro. Thought you was supposed to be back in blood. Now you back in the padded cell. You just faked being suicidal. Now they finna start giving your ass meds and stuff. That's, that's, that's out of proportion. That's out of pocket. Yeah, um. I ain't got shit to say. Um, hopefully, 
when they start rapping over a beat, it won't be as ass. Because, you know, niggas can't even rhyme, bake, and cake correctly. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, Next on the list, Call of Duty Zombies. One of probably like the most beloved franchises. Shooter wise, besides like multiplayer and stuff. Um, they're having their third, like, their actual map. Not that stupid-ass Outbreak shit, but, like, an actual map. They're having that come out on the 15th, I believe. So, yeah, that's next Thursday, the 15th. Um, this one's called Mariner Totem, which roughly translates to Wall of the Dead. Trailer didn't show no wall, but it is set in Berlin, so I can see, like, what they were trying to do with, like, the wordplay. But it just didn't work out the way they expected to. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's just some little loser-ass bitch walking their dog. You better not come in with that little ass mutt. That was fucked up. I'm a... I'm gonna start leaving people alone. It's like, y'all niggas just piss me the fuck off, dude. That's not funny. Um, so the whole, what the trailer was trying to say is like, I guess you guys got captured by plane. And in order to save your pilot from being executed, you have to kill this, like, this lady that they call, I don't know what they call her. Like, I don't know if I call her like a queen or something. But you got you got to kill her to save them. So you're basically working with the op to fight another op, which is fucking retarded. But I, I guess it'll work out depending on what they like try to do it on. Um, from what the trailer shows, the packet punch placement placement is ass. It's like it's in the corner. What it looks like, it's in the corner of the map. And there is people doing a ritual around it. So you might have to like. Hopefully you don't got to kill a whole bunch of people. To get a pack a punch activated. Because that's going to be. I don't think this one. This map is going to be like. Speed run friendly. I think this is going to be like. You know. You got to actually survive with this one. So they have this. Um, they showed this uh, brief clip of this new thing. And they added like some stuff to Twitter called Klaus. This little German little robot stuff. Um, I guess he's supposed to be friendly. So if you're running a four player, you can like run a five player for about like, I don't know, a minute, minute 20 or something like that. And basically it's just David Hasselhoff from Infinite Warfare. Like you just have to, you probably, all you gotta do is complete challenges and stuff. And then it's automatically like, your friend, but it did say like it's some, it's some like paperwork and stuff. Like, oh, he has no feelings and stuff. So, and then he has like no sense of like human pain. So if you ask him for a high five, he's taking your whole arm off. Which is like, I don't know, if you're a nerd and like lore and stuff, then I guess it'll be good. But even that, it's pretty trash. But We'll, we'll see. I'll probably, like, live stream it or something, and I'll probably talk shit about it like that. Um, Wonder Weapons. Um, they got these, like, super, I guess, like, these intergalactic-ass pistols. Um, there's different variations from them. From what i see. they were, like, taking parts, like, off and adding different ones. So this one kind of reminds me of, like, the, uh, the uh, the die weapons from the first map. I forget what the first map was called. Fuck, I'm the, I'm gonna regret not knowing that. Watch, I know it like after the podcast is, and I'm gonna have to add it later. Um, yeah. So there's like like trails of like they're not bullets, but they're like little like orbs, and they were just like shooting through so I guess like the range is going to be like super crazy probably going to be like ricocheting off of stuff so 
it might work in the first run, but watch, someone's gonna find like a super crazy ass glitch and then they're gonna go back like two weeks later and nerf it. So that should be fun for y'all. For me, I'm gonna be pissed. Cause I like I like cheating in video games. I'll play it once and then like after that I have to cheat because I already know like I can speed run any game. That's my like trick. I just don't like posting it because my internet is ass and I can't do all that shit at once. So yeah. <clears throat> Addition to that, Mule Kick is returning to black to zombies and period. If you don't know what Mule Kick is, probably like besides Juggernaut and Quick Arrive, it's probably my third favorite, uh, you know, wall buy. And it's just like it lets you carry three guns, so it could be useful. You can carry like a shotgun, the wonder weapon, and then like an assault rifle or something, like however you decide to play, so that should be good. Um, I also have, like, multiple play areas, so I know a lot of people were complaining, like, the maps were super small, which I don't have a problem with. I, I usually prefer smaller maps, but, like, if you're running this map on solo, it's probably going to be, like, super fucking hard, and you might... You might want to grab a partner, but if you can do it solo, then yeah, go by by all means, go ahead and, and do that shit. Cause watch in a month, somebody's gonna be like, oh, I did I did the Easter egg in like thirty minutes. Somebody go tell Noah J four five six to react to my video, and I'm just, bro, come on, bro. Oh, fuck that, dude. I also showed in the video like. The power, it's not like, you know how in Firebase Z, you have to go to like three different areas to activate the power and like the different sectors? No, it's not like that. It's like the old school power where you flick one switch and then it activates it for the entire map. So that should be cool. Unless they change it, unless there's like different sectors and I'm going to be, I'm going to be talking shit about that in the next episode of the podcast. Uh... Uh, they got the Panzer Returns. Um, a lot of people don't know how to kill the Panzer. And it's fucking crazy because you can literally take any weapon and add the Shatter Blast ammo mod to it. And it, it's it's a one hit. I don't want to say a one hit kill, but you know, it, the Shatter Blast adds extra boost to it. So if you ever need like quick kills, run like since you have mule kick too, one of your weapons should be a shotgun with shatter blast just just so you can get like that extra power from it um that's all I had on Call of Duty, oh they're supposed to be adding Weaver, the uh the guy you talk to throughout zombies but I don't know when I might pick that up I also picked up the Rambo and uh the John McCain is it McCain or McLean? Which one is the, the guy from Die Hard? I want to say it's McLean. One of them, a former, like, senator. But I don't know which one it is because I can't tell white people apart. But, yeah. Um, another news. GTA 5 is having an online update on the 22nd of July. Their summer update is going to be another bullshit-ass racing one, but this is going to focus more on, like, street racing, like, um, what's the Fast and Furious with, uh, with the Asian dude? Hold on, let me, let me, Tokyo Drift, um, it's going to be focused on that, so I know a lot of you room, room ass niggas going to be Look at my V12, look at my V12, I got my Toyo tires, look at me, look at me. Y'all can have fun with that, I'm probably gonna buy, just like, I'm gonna, cause you know, you know how GTA likes to do stuff, they wanna make you buy like a property, 
probably on like maze bank foreclosures and stuff. It's probably gonna be like a garage with like a mechanic and stuff. And then they're gonna make you buy like it's gonna be like they're probably gonna like do the guy from Benny's and then they're gonna like make a whole thing around him. So not only can you get like low riders customized, but you can get your like uh street cars and stuff too. So if you wanna have inverted tires and by all means go ahead. But it should be cool for like a week. I know you niggas to watch for I'll be waiting for Mr. Boss for the win to live stream that shit. I'm just like, bro, I, I can play this quicker than him. You know, he don't have a chat to read. I I don't, so that makes my life a whole lot better. That's all I had for GTA. They did come out with some survival shit. So I don't I don't usually don't play survival because only try hard to play that shit and I don't have time to be you know, rolling everywhere and stuff in the dark. So, y'all can play that. I'm going to, you know, make millions of dollars at the casino off the fucking, what's it called? The indoor horse track or something like that? Only thing about it is, if you win three times in a row, it kicks you out. So, now you have to, like, leave and then join back and then redo it all again. But I, I, I can do that shit for an entire day and make, like, like, a mil and a half or, or something like that. I think the biggest I made was like 1.7 mil before like they started nerfing everything. So yeah. And if you're not, um, I, I don't know if they have it on PlayStation 4, but on PlayStation 5, they have this thing where like they're giving you free money until like the um, the next gen version. Cause that's what I want to talk about. The next gen version. When is that shit supposed to be coming out? Because there's only 12 months in a year. And, you know, we're in month seven, so I'm trying to figure out when that shit's supposed to be coming out. Because if it don't come out soon, then we're going to have a problem. Because hopefully it comes out, I want to say October, hopefully. Because they're they're bringing the summer update in July, and then they're going to have a winter update in like... Probably late November, early December. So I want to say like October, September, October. It might be October because a lot, October, by the looks of it, is going to have like a shit ton of games coming out. So they might want to get like a piece of the pie. Hopefully they don't play like on the same day, like Far Cry comes out or something because that's going to be, that's going to be terrible for them. Because more people are going to stream Far Cry than they're going to stream a, a, a shitty GTA Online update. Unless it's pretty good. You know, the last one, the KO Prosecco heist, that one was pretty good. But it just takes forever. The, um, what's it called when you like, the prep phase. Oh my god, I can't stand the fucking prep phase on that. Because you got to keep going back and then you got to hide from everything. It's not like you go to an area and then hack into the to the cameras and then just look. You actually have to go and scope it out on foot. And there's like cameras everywhere and then the cameras move. So that's just, it, it's harder for me. Um, that's all I had on GTA. You know, I can't believe I talked that long about GTA. Jesus Christ. Next thing on my list. PlayStation's state of play. Complete ass. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. I I I feel like every state of play has been ass. Like you, I can't name one state of play where it was like, besides the one where they announced like the PlayStation Five and all like the games and stuff. That one was pretty cool. But everything after that was ass. Um. There's only three games that really stood out for me, but they're still ass, is they're making this new uh, Yakuza game, but it's like a judge simulator, so if you play like the Sherlock Holmes games, it's basically that. It's just the Yakuza version of of Sherlock Holmes, but you know, I know a lot of you weirdos are going to be playing it and stuff, because you know, you like, I'm not going to lie, I like Yakuza games, but I don't focus on the main mission 
Like, I can do, like, all the side missions and not do the main missions, and I'll still be, like, 100% satisfied. Because I don't... The the main mission is usually boring. It's all like, oh, you gotta find this person. You gotta find who killed this person. And you found him, and you killed him, but he found out that he was working for somebody else, so you gotta find who he was working for and kill him. So, to y'all, that'll be fun. To me, I'm probably gonna skip... Or I might get it when, like, the price drops or something. Because, you know, Yakuza games love going on sale for, like, 33 cents and so. Um. What else do I have? Oh, this dumb app. Somebody needs to talk to Kojima because I'm not. People didn't like your game Death Stranding. This, he basically... He's announced that they're making a Death Stranding director's cut. And people were, like, on his head because... What Death Stranding was, it was just like, you had to carry all this stuff and deliver it to people. So people were calling it, like, Uber Eats Simulator and stuff. So now people are like, I'm not about to buy this just to deliver packages. But what the trailer... The trailer looks kind of clean, like... There's a lot more action to it and stuff. So, there might be, like, guns and stuff in it. And stuff. Uh, so, that's a little side note. There, I don't know if they brought it out already or is it, or if it's available for pre-order. Oh, now I forgot the name of it. That's tough. It's not Sekiro. Um, what's the... Whatever the game with the samurai is, they're bringing it to... On next gen, I might play it. Uh, now I gotta search it up. Hold up. Because I'm gonna I'm be pissed if I forget it. Ghost of Tsushima. That's the game I'm, I'm thinking of. So that... Uh, they're bringing that and then they're having like a whole multiplayer expansion with like a new map. I mean, not a new map, a new island called, like, Ikes or something like that. So, it's, sh- what it, what they're, the way that they're describing it, it should be good, but, you know, I can, you can't go off somebody's word for something like that. Oh, uh, what else do I have? Oh, Deathloop. Bro, Deathloop been on sale for a year, and it's not even out yet. And then it showed, like, a nine-minute extended trailer. People were saying it looks like a Walmart version of uh, Dishonored. Which is, like, if the way they're, they're showing it, it's like you'd rather play just the Dishonored series than play this. Because it's, like, it's like, a, uh, like a deja vu thing. And, like, the graphics don't look good. And they're supposed to be, like, a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Like, the graphics don't look good. And then, like, the the mechanics are, like, buggy and stuff. But I really can't blame them because the game was made by Bethesda. While Bethesda was making this game, they got bought out by Microsoft. So, now they're Xbox exclusive. So, they don't have that many people working on this game anymore. And that's what's going to hurt them. So, they might... I, I would say just throw the whole game in the trash or, like, sell it to Microsoft and then wait about, like, a year and a half because now it just looks trash. And it's supposed to be coming out soon. So we'll see how that goes. It's not going to go well. I can already tell you that. So, yeah. Uh, last on my list is... EA Play 2021 is coming out July 22nd. The same day the GTA Online update is supposed to come out. The pre-show starts at 10. So that means the... I don't know. I don't know how long people would be doing their pre-shows for. They can, it can be 30 minutes. It can be an hour. Far Cry, they had, like, a 30-minute pre-show, and then they had, like, a, another hour timer along with that. So, the they did... So, I'm going to go in order. Uh, 
I want to see the progress they had on Skate 4. Because last year, they announced, oh, uh, Skate 4 is back. And, you know, we're working on it. So, I would like, I don't need a lot. Like, a teaser would be cool. Just, like, a picture and stuff. I don't know. I want to see, like, Rob Deerdeck doing, like, a 360 kickflip or something like that. Um, of course, you know, everybody loves character customization. So, it would be cool to see, like, how much detail you can put into your character like that. Like, shoelace color and, you know, if you sag your pants, overalls and stuff like that. So, that should be going... That should be good. And then, what what Skate also does is, like, they have, like, char- different characters you can play as, like, different, like, famous skateboarders. So, what they need to do, since EA is all about, like, diversity and stuff, they need to have, like, equal parts, like, whites and blacks, straights to LGBT community members. Um, just make, make sure everybody's, like, implicated, like, Everyone can feel like, oh, this person represents me. And I, everybody should be cool because it's Skate. And then make sure the multiplayer is pretty good. And make sure nobody doing them. Like, in Skate 3, that's why I stopped playing. Because people were, like, bouncing off the floor and then flying into the air. And doing, like, these 30,000-point tricks. I'm like, bro... Play like this is Street Lady and not like this is Tony Hawk Project 8. So, yeah, that's... That's what I hope for. You know, down the line, I might I might want some different stuff, but... That should be cool. Um, they also did announce their... Returning... Um, one of the... One of the sports franchises... So, fuck, now I can't remember. They have NBA Live, Fight Night, the Def Jam series, and the street, and some more stuff. I want Def Jam to come back because, you know, who doesn't love the fight with rappers? Who the fuck is this? Is this raggedy ass car? She got a suit in the background. You know she. You picking up your nigga's clothing, miss? That's that's tough. I swear, if you if you have if you send your girl to go pick up your dry cleaning, bro, yeah, you're you're a weirdo. We're really like, oh yeah. I want Def Jam to come back because, you know, rappers just coming out the blue now, so it's not that hard. All you gotta do is pay him like five thousand to. To use their image. And then like that. And you know. You know people are like bro. I had 6 9 at Playboy Cardi. Again. Uh, character customization goes a long way too. Fight Night. Uh, that was like Def Jam. Like. Only thing about that. It's like. People are going to give. People they know. They're not going to use. They're gonna use like the same four people and maybe like the low tier person if they're doing like a challenge for their for their YouTube channel or something. So of course they're gonna use Mayweather, Tyson, probably Kimbo Slice, maybe McGregor. Oh, but I can't see nobody else using any other people. Probably like Sugar Ray Robinson or something like that. Um everybody wants NBA Live, but I feel like every time they announce NBA Live, it's not to what people expect. And then it just does, like, super terrible. So, what they need to do is they need to start talking to these content creators. Like, what do you want from our game? That way, people... Not like... And I'm not talking about, like, the super... Aesthetic, like, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ass niggas. Like, no. Talk to, like, some of these pro players and stuff. Like, what do you want from our game? Because a lot of... I feel like everybody says 2K is trash. So if you tell them what you want in a basketball game, they're going to make the game that you want. Somewhat. Hopefully. So yeah, that's it on that. Uh, what else do I have on this one? 
Of course, you know, like, I, I don't know. They're going to announce, like, some Apex Legends type stuff. Um, I'm not really a fan of Apex Legends. Just because it's, I don't want to say it's too, like, fast-paced, but it's too many intricate things. Like, you got to pick up a gun, then you got to pick up a skull, then you got to pick up ammo, then you got to pick up a... An extended clip, you gotta pick up a stock and stuff. I'm like, bro, just get the gun and shoot it. But then I can't do that because somebody will shoot the same gun at me, but he has like an extended clip, so we got two extra bullets in his chamber. So that sucks. Uh, of course, you're gonna do like Sims DLC and talk about how. The Sims is for everyone. It doesn't matter what shape, size, or ethnicity you are. It's for everyone. You know, they're going to do that again. And, you know. Who, does anybody really play The Sims anymore? I just thought about that. The Sims was cool for like a month. And then people were like, watch people, watch all these like super streamers. Like, I'm going to start playing The Sims again. It just looks so much fun. Like, bro, what's fun about a, a random-ass virtual character going, skibbity, weebity? Like, bro, come on, come on. Like, oh, my God. Um, I don't know what, what other games they have. Star Wars, that might be cool. I don't think they're going to... After... Well, Star Wars, uh, what's the... Squadrons, that was ass. I don't know who wanted to play as a pilot, but you could have you could play as a pilot in Battlefront 2, so I don't know why they made a separate game just to play as a pilot. Uh Jedi Fallen Order. It was cool, but it was like one of those uh one of those like Bloodborne type games, but if you know the trick to go get the uh the double I don't know what y'all nerds call it in the Star Wars universe, but if you get like a double lightsaber that's like on both ends, then you can do that. So that, that's fun. Uh, oh, that's the game they have. Plants vs. Zombies. Trash. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, if you play Plants vs. Zombies, go, go ahead and log off from me, Chief, because... I'm not gonna lie, I played Plants vs. Zombies with my, like, old friends and stuff. And they were having so much fun. I was like, man, what? I don't, I'm not about to shoot peas out of my nostrils. Like, man, come on. I'm not with it. Uh, what other game news I have? Oh, they... Uh, so, Capcom released this all-access voucher for Village... And it just gives you every single thing that's in the extra content shop. And when I tell you, I've been having so much fun with it. Oh, man. That's that's a beauty right there, mate. Um, what other stuff are they, did they bring out? Uh, PlayStation, they brought out their... Uh, the PlayStation Plus games, which include Black Ops 4, Battlegrounds, and some other game. I don't remember the name of it. I've been playing the Battle, the WWE game, Battlegrounds. It's okay. It's like uh, if you All Stars, WWE All Stars. If you play that, just by 2K. But I've been playing the story mode, and it's pretty fun. It's just like the controls are weird, and then the camera angle is weird. So, I got to get focused on that. Uh, What else? Black Ops 4. Uh, I probably won't be playing Black Ops 4 any other time. Uh, Doesn't make no sense to play Black Ops 4 when I have Cold War, Warzone, and Modern Warfare installed. So, that just makes no sense. Unless I want to play, like, the old zombies, which... You know, I don't have I don't have any reason to do. So yeah, uh, I think that's all I have on my list. So 
Yeah, that's everything. Uh, I want to thank y'all for listening. I know this is the second episode, so appreciate y'all for rocking with me. If you're listening to Apple, this on Apple Podcasts, make sure you rate it a five star so I can move up the algorithm. So, because I need his money, and you know, I'm not about to be doing this for free for much longer. Shout out to all the sponsorships and stuff that's coming my way. You know, blessings don't come my way because that's all that's coming to me is blessings. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Like I'm a big Sean song. That was actually kind of late, huh? But yeah. Um, I love all y'all. Thank y'all. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.